everyone, it's Sierra from The Home Blondie and in this video I'm going to be baking my favorite Christmas cookie recipe. I'm also going to be showing you my Christmas decor. So if you're excited for this video, then make sure to subscribe to my channel and keep on watching. So I was just talking about this over on my Instagram stories but I had realized that whenever I was cooking or baking, it was like a very stressful experience because I wasn't like prepping out my ingredients first. So I've been working on changing my ways and I was sharing a couple of my tips over on Instagram. But one thing, if you are like me and you always forget to soften your butter when you are baking, before you do anything else, preheat your oven and then just set your butter sticks right on top and that way they will soften as you are prepping all of your ingredients. And then my other tip is to get really cute little bowls. So I got these at Target. They just have little stripes on them and I did have them all just stacked on this shelf here. But just having these really cute little bowls, I feel like makes it more enjoyable, like measuring out all of your ingredients. So that way, when it comes time to actually making your recipe, it's just easy to grab things and bake. And I know this is all common sense and most of you are probably already doing this, but before I would just get out my recipe and as I was going through the steps, I would be grabbing all of my ingredients and it was just very chaotic and not enjoyable. So like I said, I've been changing my ways. So if you are anything like me, I hope that these tips will help you. So I'm going to be using this recipe that I found on Pinterest a couple of years ago. It's actually from rachelparcel.com. So I made these cookies for the first time when I made cookies to ask each of my bridesmaids to be at our wedding. I made like a whole box of things and um, one of the items was this cookie that I made. So I'll try to put a picture here of what I did because it actually turned out really cute. I was really proud of it. But like I said, they were the best cookies ever. And ever since I made them for my bridesmaids, I have been making them every year for Christmas cookies and I just love them so much. So I'll link the original recipe down below. I'm going to be tweaking it a little bit because every time I follow this recipe, it makes like a million cookies. It makes so many, which is great if you like are making them for a large group, but I don't like need that many. So I cut the recipe in half and I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. I, I hope it turns out fine. I would think it would. But anyway, I'm not going to like give you the recipe during this video in case it doesn't turn out, but the recipe is going to be linked down below. So first I'm just starting by rinsing out this bowl. It gets a little dusty sitting there, so I'm just cleaning that out before I get started. And for this recipe, you are going to need some eggs. Again, I'm not going to share exact measurements in this video. Check out the blog post for that information because I did tweak this recipe a little bit, but you're also going to need butter, almond extract, vanilla and sugar and then you will start mixing that together and then you can start adding your dry ingredients so you're going to add some baking powder and then you will slowly mix in the flour too Okay, so I did not use all the flour in her recipe. She said she doesn't use all the flour either. I think adding too much can make your cookies really dry and I think I have the perfect consistency here. So I will just save this to sprinkle the counter with before I roll out the dough. So now I just need to cover this with like a saran wrap and put it in the fridge for 30 minutes and then we will start rolling out the dough. Okay, 
I just finished washing and putting away all of the little bowls and dishes that I was using to make that dough. And while it's chilling in the fridge, I thought I would show you all of our Christmas decor. I really didn't do that much. I just decorated our kitchen and our living room. So I'll show you that really quickly. And then we will start cutting out our cookies to bake. Okay, so here in the kitchen, I made this dried orange garland. I do have a video on my channel where I made that and I shared all of the steps. So you can check that out if you're interested in making one for yourself. I also have a blog post with all of the details at thehomeblondie.com. And then over here on these shelves, I just put together a lot of my random Christmas decor that I've collected over the years and I actually think it turned out really, really cute. Sorry, the lighting is so bad in here today. It's kind of gloomy outside. But anyway, I just have my Santa mugs. I got those from Target a couple of years ago and I think they're so cute. I have them scattered in a couple of other places I'll show you too. And then I just always love decorating with plants. I just think it brings in obviously some greenery, but also just like some natural elements. Um, and then I have those little bowls that I was just using some bottle brush trees. I love to decorate with those and I think they add such a fun pop of color. Um, this little gingerbread house I actually made with my niece on Thanksgiving and I think it turned out really cute. Um, so I've just been keeping it there for decor. Up here I just have my cookbooks with some more bottle brush trees. I grabbed a chair so I'm not so shaky, but this chair is actually not very sturdy. But anyway, I have this Letters to Santa mailbox. I got that from Magnolia or the Hearth and Hand line at Target a couple of years ago. I love it so much. They come out with one of these every year, or at least they have the past couple of years, but they're usually all different colors. But I have seen people who have gotten like I think this year it's a green one and then they just painted it white and black to look like this. So you could definitely do that if you like the white and black better. This little mixing bowl and rolling pin is also from Target and then some more bottle brush trees. So I'll try to link any of the stuff that I can down below. I don't know if it's still in stock, but most of it is from Target, except for those bottle brush trees are kind of from all over the place. Like I've gotten some at Hobby Lobby and I've also gotten them at little like home boutiques too. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know how much I love decorating my coffee bar for every holiday. So for Christmas at the top here, I just printed off that quote. I have no idea where I found it. It might've been on Pinterest. I'm sorry, I have no idea, but I love it so much. It just says, nothing ever seems too bad, too hard, or too sad when you've got a Christmas tree in the living room. I think that is so cute. And then these little nutcrackers were a DIY from a couple of years ago. So they're from the dollar store and they were really ugly when I got them. They were like red and green. And so I just painted them and added some little rhinestones and washi tape to make them look a little cuter. And then on this next shelf, I have this wreath that's from Target another one of those Santa mugs. I just got this mug brewed in the North Pole from an Instagram like boutique store. I cannot remember the name of it, but I will try to find it and link it down below. And then I have more bottle brush trees. And then down here, just another Santa mug and another bottle brush tree. And then down here, I didn't really do too much. I just added a garland there. And then these houses are from the Target dollar spot last year. Okay, so moving from our kitchen into our living room, I just have this garland hung up. It is so pretty at night. I love it so much. And then over here, this is really special. Um, this was my grandma's. She just moved to a smaller house and so she gave it to me and my siblings and my mom and dad. So anyway, they're just these little houses or village pieces that are so pretty. Um, so this one is actually from Kevin's grandparents. Uh, we got that as a wedding gift. So that one's really special too. But yeah, I just love this so much and it's just so like nostalgic having this out because 
my grandma had seriously like an entire wall of these and she actually kept it up all year long because putting this together is so much work. Even just putting this out was a lot of work and I don't even have all of the pieces out because they all come like individually wrapped. And anyway, when you have them plugged in, they have really pretty lights. Like this would all be lit up. This would be moving. Um, but I just have like string lights stuffed inside since I don't have an outlet over here and it still looks really pretty. They're not on right now since it's light outside. But yeah, this is my favorite Christmas decoration. And then in here, I don't have too much. I just have my Christmas cactus here. So I got that as a birthday gift. I can't remember if it was last year or the year before, but it is in such good shape and it's so easy to take care of. And soon it will start growing these pink flowers on the end. Um, so that's like a really fun gift to get someone for Christmas because they're so easy to take care of. Someone posted on Facebook one time that they had theirs for like 20 years. So I really hope that mine lasts that long too. And then over here, I just have like some family Christmas photos up there and a little tree. And then over here, this star garland I got from a local boutique and then this green garland is from Target and I love it. It has these little blueberries on it, which I think is fun. Um, the only problem is I'm having trouble like figuring out how to attach it. So it has these loops on the end and I might either like nail it in. I have this one just hung with a push pin. So I might nail that in or use like a command hook, but sadly I had these really pretty bubble string lights weaved in there, but this fell off last night and they crashed. <laughs> and the lights are all broken now. So anyway, um, I need to figure out how to secure that, but behind it, I have these battery operated candles that you just turn on with this remote. So I just kind of hide that behind there. And I have our stockings here. So if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I really wanted to try to knit our own stockings this year. I even like purchased a template for download and everything. And I realized I have no idea how to knit. I have never knit a single thing in my life. I was like Googling all of the terms and then I realized it was going to be way more difficult than I thought. So I'm hoping to do that project next year. It might honestly take me like an entire year to knit a stocking. So I think I'm gonna start that after the new year. So stay tuned to see how that turns out. And then this is our tree. We got this tree from Hobby Lobby. I think this is our third year having it. Luckily, all the lights still work. I love this tree. I think it is so beautiful. The only thing I don't like about it is the flocking. It's not too bad though. Um, I vacuum every day and so that all just fell off of it today. It just happens when I plug it in and out. I need to get a timer so that I don't have to do that anymore. Then all of our ornaments are just like a mixture of gold and silver and white. And then we have a couple of fun ones hung in here because every year I like to get an ornament that like represents the year. So we got that one when we got engaged because it actually looks just like my ring. Um, and then let's see if I can find the other ones. We got this one in 2019 when we bought our first house. Um, this one is from our honeymoon. And then I just ordered one for 2021. So this year we took a trip to Texas, which I actually vlogged the whole thing. So that's a video on our channel, but I just ordered an ornament from Magnolia because that was the best part of our trip. So I will pop up a picture here of the one that I ordered. And then you probably saw this guy in the background here when I was just talking. So this is Kevin's Christmas decoration that he inherited. Apparently this was like his favorite childhood Christmas decoration. And I have to say it's growing on me, but when we first got it, I didn't really like it that much because it just didn't really go with my style. And then it would kind of like scare me in the night when I would walk out into the living room and it would just be like, staring at me, but he's growing on me. I think he's really cute actually. And then on our couch, I just put out some of our Christmas pillows. So this one is from Target. That one is from, I wanna say either Michaels or Joanne Fabrics. 
And then this one is from Target, but these are all from the previous year, so I don't think they sell them anymore. And then this is just Harvey's <laughs> blanket that Lucy's cuddling with right now, but that doesn't really go with the Christmas decor, but that's okay. And then the last place that I decorated was the entryway. So in here, I just have our Christmas countdown. I actually need to move this over. I always forget to do this, but I think that is a really cute little decoration. And then this wreath, I would guess it's probably from Target too, but it's old. And then over here, I just have some trees. I think these were all from the Target dollar section. Um, maybe last year or a couple years ago and then lastly my santa pillow and that is from michael's i got that i think last year and i actually think that they still have it this year so i'll try to link that if i can but yeah that is all of our christmas decor okay so the dough has been chilling for about 45 minutes now so we can get that out anytime but i just got down whoops all of my like cookie cutters and molds and those kinds of things. So I just wanted to pick out all of the Christmas cookie cutters that I have. So I have this little snowman, I have a star, a little present, Christmas ornament, house, snowflake. I have a snow globe. This one is my favorite to make ugly Christmas sweaters. A little reindeer that one is always really cute and then I have a bow a Christmas tree a Santa hat a candy cane so I think that is more than enough Christmas cookie cutters so now I will get the counter prepared and I'll pull out the dough and we will get to rolling okay so I just cleaned off the counter and washed my hands so now I'm going to sprinkle the flour Okay, next I'm going to put some flour on my rolling pin. This dough is pretty sticky, so I'm hoping that it rolls out okay. But honestly, that is another reason to not add so much flour to your dough because like you have to add so much to roll it out anyway. So you don't wanna dry out your dough too much. Okay, so I've cut a couple of my shapes out. It's a little sticky on the bottom. I just tried to do the Santa and it kind of fell apart. So we're going to re-roll out the dough and try again. But once I get all of this dough cut, then we bake the cookies anywhere from five to seven minutes. to 375 degrees and we're going to bake these for five to seven minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes, so we're gonna check on our cookies. Oh no, some of them were too close together. Shoot. Okay, I think I'm gonna let them bake for like another minute and then we'll check on them again. Okay, so this is what they look like. I don't know if you can see. They definitely like expanded more than I ever remember happening before, but I think it's okay. Okay, so I have enough cookies to bake a few more and this time I'm going to spread them out more so they won't all run together. And I'm going to bake these for six minutes because that seemed to be the magic number for those. Okay, so this is how they turned out. So some of them did lose their shape. Like I think this was supposed to be the Christmas ornament and it just kind of looks like a blob now. But most of them turned out really good. This is the Christmas sweater. I think that's my favorite one because it's just so funny. And then all of these ones turned out perfect. 
So I usually make a royal icing to decorate these. So I'm going to wait and do that probably this weekend. So I'll just store them like in a Tupperware container until then. But these actually do stay really nice if you freeze them. So you could freeze them and then wait to ice them like closer to Christmas or whenever you need them. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will make sure to link the recipe and as much Christmas decor as I can in the description box below. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will be back very soon with another one. Bye.